Hi there. Now, for this question, we're told that the marks of a group of male students in the same statistics test are summarised by the stem and leaf diagram. And we've now got to find the median and the interquartile range of the marks of the male students for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now you can always fast forward if you would like to just uh, check out the answers or I'll just take you slowly through the method. Well, the first thing we need to do is to find out for the median where the middle value is going to be. And so we need to total up our frequency column here. So if we total this up, you'll find that it comes to 31. And when we're dealing with discrete data here, as opposed to continuous data, what we have got to do in order to find the position of the median is not just simply divide this by two, as we would for continuous data, but we have to add one okay, to the data and then divide by two. Okay, So that's the number of values plus one divided by two. So that turns out to be equal to the 16th value. So where is the 16th value if we're to get the median? So therefore the median, or you could use the symbol Q2, it's up to you to recognize for the second quartile. Where is that 16th value? Well, if we start counting in from this end, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's on that value there. Or you could come in 16 values from this end, but you've got to be careful here. Go 1, 2, and you go to this number here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? So the median Q2 is going to be 51, okay, by this key here. Right, now we next need to find the positions of the quartiles, the lower quartile and the upper quartile. So we'll just put this in here, the position of Q1, okay, the lower quartile, and Q3, the upper quartile. And when we're finding these positions, and that's from the ends, by the way, okay, from the ends, then if we knew that the median was the 16th value, then there must be 15 values either side of the median, if you like, in the lower tail here and in the upper tail. So if we're to find the position, the middle position of those 15 values, we just add 1 to 15 and divide by 2. So that turns out to be the 8th value in from either end. Okay, so if we take Q1, so we'll put therefore Q1, the lower quartile, come in 8 values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there we go, it's going to be 46. Okay, so lower quartile is 46. When it comes to the upper quartile, Q3, we just need to come in eight values from this end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it's 63. Okay? So therefore, now we've got our quartiles, we can say that therefore the interquartile range, quartile range, well, that's equal to the upper quartile, Q3 then, minus the lower quartile, Q1. 63 minus 46, which is 17. Okay?